What's up, y'all? My name is Lyric Monet, your favorite mystical baddie, and I am here to give you an intuitive message, okay? Okay, so before we get into this message, I use my shamanic drum to cleanse the space, clear the energy, and we will go from there. intuitive message I have for you guys today is you are currently going through a light body activation okay blessings your blessings are on <laughs> layaway okay so you know when you get it on layaway there's you know you put it to the side so it's already there like say you're going to the store and you want to get this but you can't get it right now right so you put it to the side, that means it's already there, it's already created, it's already ready, right? You just got to pay, you know, when you have the money. And making sure that nobody can take it, you know, making nobody, making sure nobody can, like, buy it before you. So you put it on their way. Um, with that being said, you just, you know, not having enough for it at that time. I'm looking at it as spirit saying nobody can take your blessings. This is yours and it will always be yours when you are ready. So I'm seeing that they have already, I'm hearing Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me along righteousness, bringing honor to his name. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Ashe. Okay. So, he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies, okay? You heard that before. If you didn't, please tap into that scripture because it is a very powerful scripture. And I just feel like it's very prophetic for this message. But he has already prepared this table for you, you know? There's nothing else really that they have to do. It's like, you know, sometimes you just, it's time to pick up the slack is what I'm hearing. For certain people, if you feel like you've been slacking a little bit, it's just time to pick it up and let's go. Let's go because it's already there. It's waiting for you. You know what I mean? So, like, they've cleared the way. They've cleared your path. Um, yeah, I'm hearing untouched. Your blessings are untouched. You can't be tampered with. Like, no witch, no warlock, no enemy, no energy vampire, no entity can can touch it. Like, they will get burned. They will evaporate. They will diminish. They will be destroyed, demolished. <laughs> um, if they ever try to come near it. I'm hearing, like, it gets real hot. The, the hell of fire. The flames of hell surrounds your blessings. 
blocking any negative energy like it doesn't burn we walk through the fire okay we we can walk through that fire okay but there's certain energies and entities and people who cannot walk through that fire that's what you did though so that's why you get in what you deserve right here and face your demons so you're facing your demons battling your demons battling your shadow side um becoming one with your shadow side also too because it's like your shadow side can pop out at any time regardless when you can get your blessings and your shadow side could be knocking like hey but just like becoming one and like knowing to tame that side you know when it's not needed to be that version of yourself like you know releasing old versions of yourself outdated versions of yourself outdated thoughts you know outdated realities are outdated perspectives of life and there's a certain perspective and mindset that is needed for this blessing that you are trying to receive this is something major you're gonna get it and it's gonna happen okay you're reaching oneness with the lord and the universe as you heal you age backwards and live longer I'm hearing you're aging with grace, okay? Like, people are looking at you, and it's like, you know how... I, I was asking my mom this, like, why? Like, when we be in our 20s and stuff like that, we look older than we do when we get in our 30s and 40s. Like, what was going on? <laughs> like, I'm trying to age gracefully now, okay? Because I don't know what we do in our 20s that make us, like, look a little crazy, you know? And then we start healing ourselves as we get older, you know? Um... I'm just hearing somebody say the young and dumb phase, but um, letting life rip you like a, a a tide, a freaking wave of water. I can't even talk. A ocean tide, <laughs> but letting it just like I'm seeing somebody getting smacked by a big, humongous wave. Like that's just what's happening, and it's like I'm trying to dodge that. I don't even think I want to get in the water. Okay, no, but, um. <laughs> Um, I'm getting my feet wet, okay? But <laughs> with that being said, um, yes, you're aging with grace. People want to ask, what's your, what's your skincare? What do you eat? Like, what? I'm stress-free. You're learning to be stress-free. You're learning to not put your energy into certain things. Um, I'm seeing, I'm hearing them say, like, you putting, people putting their energy into anger or sadness or misery. It just shows within their physical body and the way they look, you know? I'm seeing you need to, you need to or you're doing it, but facial massages is really gonna help you look way more youthful, like literally twenty times more youthful. Um, your lymphatic system, cleansing your lymphatic system through massages is what I'm hearing. So doing research on that, but um, also neck massages, just full body massages, doing what you can for your body, caring for your body, you know. Um, I'm seeing, I'm just telling you guys, there's, um, anti-aging subliminals out here. If you believe in subliminals, affirmations, frequencies, that stuff really works and you will see results, you know, listening to it, um, during, what the heck, during certain theta waves, gamma waves, um, right when you wake up, right before you go to sleep, listening to a little bit of whatever frequency you want to listen to they have frequency anything you can think of they have a subliminal and frequency for it like you have to just go look like i can't sit here and name everything but it's like my mind will think like oh do they have a subliminal for this they do they have a subliminal like do you guys know what subliminals are please don't sleep on them is what i'm hearing please don't um because you will i see results okay that's why that's why i'm here right now talking to you because I've, I've experienced results from subliminals but um that's a little cheat code don't sleep on that cheat code but you're getting more in tune with your spirit is what i'm saying your higher self listening to yourself building a bond a healthy relationship with your higher self you know it's like we listen to everybody we hear for everybody but can we be here for ourselves you know because that higher self can really take you places it can take you far and it can help you make the best decisions instead of getting so much advice from outside go within ask yourself you know what should i do or just listening to yourself you know S taking that time out to meditate and just oh breathe so yeah you are listening more to your body right now you're probably getting more sensations or your body's just changing maybe you're eating certain foods that just don't sit well in your stomach anymore you know um 
or certain drinks. I'm hearing your taste buds are changing. Maybe you're liking things you didn't used to like or you're not liking things that you used to love. Um, you can sense spirits around you is what I'm hearing because you're very sensitive to energy right now. So it's like, can't no monitoring spirit just be lurking and you not being aware of it, you know? Um, I'm just seeing like you, you're able to cast things away and command things. So command, say, I command this to happen. I cast this away. I command those words. Like I'm hearing specific words is activating your power. It's activating your things happen fast, faster for you through your, through the vibration of your throat chakra. When you say specific words, you know, like, oh, I want this to happen. No, I demand this to happen at this time. And yeah, claim that power, you know, just know. And if it don't work out, spirit be like, hey, we ain't doing that. You know what I mean? But you can still say, I command this to happen. Like, you are a god. You are a goddess. You are of source. Like, you know? Uh, Yeah. So, spirit is saying, speak as if it already came. Use all of your senses, even your psychic senses, when it comes to uh, manifesting what you want when it comes to bringing things in I'm going to be I'm going to be using manifest a lot in my in my readings okay because that's what's really happening right now a lot of people are about to start receiving so much okay um, I'm also hearing after your birthday is when you're seeing change so maybe your birthday's already passed and you've been starting to see change even if it's a little bit but it's things are different now you know um, because you are in a new era of yourself Your body image is shifting is what I'm hearing. Your daily schedule is shifting. I'm hearing listen to nature sing. Listen to the birds. Listen to the bees. Listen to the flow of the trees. Listen to the air. Listen to the breeze. <laughs> um, watch. Just watch nature. And as you, I'm seeing, look into the sky. Um what do you see the clouds like the interpretation dream interpretation yeah why am i saying dreams so maybe you're getting dreams and stuff pay attention to your dreams but i was really picturing the sky and interpreting like you know clouds can form into it can you can receive messages through clouds it's just what i'm saying okay um i'm seeing that card mystic mystical clouds is that what it is let me see where is the back at what the oh mystical clouds let's see i think it's mysticism maybe <laughs> just trying to find it you guys trying to find it okay yeah this is the one i was seeing mystical clouds Seeing orbs in the sky, seeing orbs and shadows around you, seeing the sunset. Um, yeah, because I'm seeing with the orbs and stuff like that. Activating your, your third eye through the sun is what I'm seeing. Uh, yeah. Touching a big tree as you visualize what you want. I say a big tree because, you know, the tree of life, so going to... A thriving tree and visualizing what you want or praying you know connecting with the tree will definitely help you manifest it too okay trees are very abundant or they're a sign of abundance okay um spirit says stop doubting your desires it's going to happen when it's meant to happen it will happen when you take action equal actions and equal resting so in the resting period you pray and say how grateful you are for everything in your life don't kill your own vibe okay so if there's something that you want to receive and then like say i want to receive this or i manifest this and then right after that you have a negative thought or something happens in your reality and it makes you doubt your manifestation remove those those roadblocks those mental blocks 
um, those energetic blocks because sometimes you're you're manifesting, manifesting, but then you're having these negative thoughts after. I know it's hard, but write those down. Like if you have the time, write them down and burn them out. Or go outside, put your feet in the grass. Think of all the negative doubts and thoughts and lacks of fear. Release it. Talk to yourself. Why do you worry about this? Why do you feel in lack? You know? So, yeah. Don't kill your vibe. With doubts, lack, fear, anxiety. Just visualize your results. I'm seeing someone changing their hairstyle, dyeing it or getting it cut. Um, you're going to start feeling fresh. I'm seeing someone with the ability of psychometry. So like being able to touch things or people and gain information. Say you shake somebody's hand, say you hug somebody, you receive information and downloads from their vessel. So some things that they're not able to see, you're able to relay messages to them. So maybe you might be a psychic medium or you may be a reader or even if you don't have <clears throat> cards, you may be a reader for certain people in their lives. They come to you for information about themselves. You retrieve spiritual data from or data. <laughs> you receive spiritual data from the things you touch or encounter so yeah that's what i have for you guys i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video peace